All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valhelsia 3. Guys, last episode, we went ahead, did a whole bunch of garden cloches over at the new base, the 4,500 block away base, and uh, we did a little bit of upgrades in a live stream where we uh, kind of built a room around that. I also did go ahead and put a charge pad down here uh, that's connected to our power just so we can go ahead and charge up our items and stuff like that without having to go all the way back up to the, the windmill power. But once we're all charged up here, we're going to go ahead... And I've done some work at the new base. <clears throat> I gotta show you guys this. Alright, I'm very proud. Let's go here. Oh. Oh yes, we have sealed off the inner circle from the outside, guys. Look at this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to swap this, these little corners out with the insulated glass here. And then we'll put some like lime, lime concrete behind it just to make it look green. But yeah, we went ahead and did this. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm a big fan. We kind of, What the frick are we trying to pick up over here? String. Yes, so this is the design we're going with. We went ahead and added these on stream. Uh, we sealed this up um, in a live stream. I did go ahead and add the lighting here. Added this little detail part here with the gray concrete. Not sure if I like it, if I hate it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments if we should keep this little, this little guy here. Um... If we do, I think we need to add something to each of, like, to spice this up a little bit. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah, we went ahead and we were able to actually fix uh, to do the pass-through like we were talking about. Now, one of my, uh, one of the viewers watching, I cannot remember your name. I'm so sorry who who mentioned it. I actually don't remember who mentioned it. Uh, but if you know who you are, so thank you. Uh, you have to put a, like, the, the low-voltage wire connector on each side of the block. And then you tap it with a hammer. And it becomes a feed-through insulator. Um, it's so amazing. I, I love this. I'm going to go ahead and redo the, uh, the thumbnail here in a couple of seconds for the last video. Uh, we're going to do it with this because this looks so much better. Oh my goodness. Would you just look at it? Uh, but yeah, I've also been, been kind of busy. Uh, you know, obviously I did this. I was watching a Hunter, Hunter X Hunter or Hunter Hunter, whatever you call it while I was building this. It was pretty cool. I like the show. And, uh, I want to show you guys something. We got our new area. Our next area for project. We haven't finished this one yet. We're going to work on that later. We need a lot more concrete. I'm actually going to go ahead and automate the whole concrete process later. But for now, we're going to be working on this area. In this area, in case... Ooh, we got some Endermen down here. I do need to kill them. You ain't dying. Now you're dying. You gotta die. It's very dark. Spoopy. Ow. Don't touch me there. That is my no-no square. Try not to hit this horse. I would also like to do like a an animal area somewhere in the base too. We have all of our sheep, all of our pigs and cows and chickens and all that. I think that would be cool. It's something I normally neglect. So something I definitely want to do. Okay, yeah, so our next area over here in the project for today. Sorry, this has been a long introduction if you guys have stuck around till this time. Thank you. And then which you've all been waiting for. We're going to be working on times five or production. Let's get this bread. Okay, so <clears throat> to first get, well, we're going to have to do a test. Uh, we're going to have to find the, the setup for it. We're going to get everything working. Uh, so we're going to use uranium crystals to do so. Uh, these are going to be our our dudes, so to get this, we're obviously going to need the, the chemical crystallizer. Uh, to get this, we need water and dirty uranium, so we're going to need a sink as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and get a sink going. All right, and then to get the dirty uranium slurry, we need the sulfuric acid in a chemical dissolution chamber. And then to get the sulfuric acid, we're going to need a chemical infuser, which is just water vapor, which is very easy to make. Um, and then let's see here... This is going to require a lot of crafting. So another chemical infuser. Then we're going to get oxygen and sulfur dioxide, which we get from this. So first things first, let's get this part done, Ski. Okay. So this guy's number one. We are number one. Hey. All right. So, step number one is complete. We need to convert this into the... Well, first process is just going to be sulfuric acid. And I believe we can do this 
um, input eject on. Okay, so this is gonna require an item. Okay, so we only got one. So we are going to actually move this up one block like so. Is, yeah, so for dust, perfect. Okay, there we are. Okay, we configure this to pump in. Okay, this is working. All right, we are getting our sulfur dioxide. Perfect. All right, now what do we use with the sulfur dioxide? Okay, we need to make sulfur trioxide. Uh, so we're gonna need chemical infuser and an electrolytic separator, okay. Okay, so it turns out we had a sink in my inventory, and we also have a rotary condenser, I believe. Yes, okay. Perfect. So, sulfur dioxide, let's look it up. Liquid sulfur dioxide into... Yep, we're good. Okay, combined. Okay, so sulfur dioxide needs to go into the chemical infuser. Yes. And then we will empty it here. Yep, okay, that's working. So now we need to get some oxygen, which requires an electrolytic separator. We will just put this back here. Fluids. Configure. Okay. Yes, we're making sulfur trioxide. Perfection. Alrighty. Um, yeah, we're just gonna dump all the hydrogen. We don't need that. Okay, so we have sulfur trioxide. We combine that with water vapor. Perfect, water vapor already here. All right, we combine this with water vapor to get sulfuric acid, which is the first step. Okay, so do I have a chemical infuser? I sure do. I'm gonna go ahead and put him here, like so. And then for gases, output the, through the top, gases, Input, perfect, sulfur trioxide is there. That was Fe. Okay, we need the gases. Perfect, we have our gas cables here. Okay. So this is the left side we're gonna export. Output, auto eject on. Aha, there we go. Okay, here's the power. Water vapor. Yes, perfect. So now all we need to do is just get power to this guy. We can do, whoops, not like that. Like a D's. All right, yep, here we go. We got our sulfuric acid, boom. Okay, so the next step in this is to make the chemical dissolution chamber like so, and this is where we pump our ores into. Okay, so we got the chemical dissolution chamber, perfect. 
All right. Well, that kind of works. Uh, sulfuric acid. I'm pretty sure that's gas. Let's go ahead and put this at a different angle. That's not what I wanted. Well, that also works. All right, we're going to export out the right side. Output for gases. Output. Look at that. Yes, sulfuric acid going in. Perfect. Let's go ahead and tell our system here not to throw uranium. Uranium is going to be the one that we're going to be doing first. Uh, so let's go ahead and go pop, pop. Where does uranium go? I think uranium actually goes here. Yep, okay. Perfect. All right, so we got our uh, uranium getting processed up in here. I had to tell our system to not process this automatically. So yeah, if we look here under the, the dirty uranium, sorry. So our, our next process is to go ahead and just purify this. Uh, and so to do that, we're gonna go ahead and run this in. Uh, we do have the sink right behind, perfect. All right, water's getting in and then I believe that's a fluid. Let's see here. Okay, so it is a gas. That's fine. And then gases output. Oh yeah, look at that, it's working. Okay, so now all I gotta do is just run power here. I don't know if these cables are actually good enough to get power to it. Yep, looks like it is, perfect. All right, we got clean uranium slurry. All right, so we don't need this anymore. Uh, let's see, clean uranium slurry, that's the new guy. A here, okay, so what do we need to do now? We need a chemical crystallizer, okay? All right, chemical crystallizer, here we go. Let's go ahead. I believe we should be able to just do that. It's gonna get a little messy, but this is totally worth it. Yes, perfect. Okay, so these are gonna start making the crystals. So, crystals, Dunsky. Uses for these guys, okay. Whew. So now we need a chemical injection chamber. All right, let's go ahead and get one of those believe we have everything we need for it. Yeah. All right, chemical purification chamber. Let's go ahead Run some cable. We're going to set the items like that. Bam. Okay, boom. Kaboom, fantastic. Uranium crystals. All right. So if we go use this here, we need hydrogen. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this produces hydrogen, but we're, we're not going to really use it. Trust me. We're just going to get another one of those guys. Um, if we go use this here... Hydrogen chloride? Oh. Oh, no. Okay, let's just work on the hydrogen part of this. Dang. That became a lot more advanced than I thought. Okay. Okay, hydrogen is there. So we're gonna need another one of these guys. Uh, 
All right, so let's go ahead. <laughs> Whew, this is going to take a bit. Okay, so we want it, the finished product to be here. Okay, electrolytic separator. Well, that works. All right, so you just gotta get power to this guy. Okay, hydrogen. No! Oh my gosh! Every Frickin' time puts the wrong thing in. Get out of here. There's gotta be a way to clear that, but I don't think there's an easy way to do it. Okay, hydrogen going in there. All right, so now we need chlorine, which, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. We're gonna make a relatively small one here. Um. Yeah, I should have everything still. Okay, we're gonna need a, a heater guy. This guy here, very easy to craft. This guy turns power into heat. Yep, okay, that was a problem. All right, so we'll put the heat guy over here. Um, water tap. Yeah, the water tap and heat guy will be over here on the side. So we will need a sink. Oh, I can't type. Okay, so sink here, fluid. All right, so we're making brine very, very slowly. All right, so all we need to do, put this here, run this cable down below. Why down below? Because I don't know. Okay, yes, so this is heating up real good, or should be, oh, wait, no, it's not. We need this guy, there we go. Now we getting that heat, perfect. Okay, so brine, we're getting it. Okay, into chlorine, so brine into an electrolytic separator, very cool. All right, so before we connect anything up, um, yeah, we're gonna put this here. And then, wait, do we need to convert it into anything? I don't think so. Chlorine, yeah, chlorine just comes from the electrolytic separator when you pump the brine in. Okay, brine working like a charm. All right, chlorine is here, what are you, sodium? We're dumping the sodium. Okay, gases, get rid of that. So cyan needs to be coming out. 
there. And we're making hydrogen chloride. Mm, okay. Step two of the process is done. <laughs> so it means we're going to have to have three of these guys hiding back in that room. Okay. I can live with that. Now the uranium shards. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Uranium shards. Uses. Okay. We need to put this into another purification chamber. With oxygen. Oxygen much, much, much easier to make. Okay. Here we go. Oop, just need one more. Make three just in case I need to do something again. I have an even number. Perfect. So we are here. Now you can take your items, pump them out, eject on. Boom. Okay. Whew. Oxygen is what we need now. Get oxygen. Electrolytic separator. We have so many electrolytic separators, it's not even funny. This is like the most popular item that we use for mechanism almost. Okay, we're going to need another sink as well. Should have that in the bag. Perfect. Okay. So we are... Yeah, we're going to put this here. Electrolytic separator above. Um, power running up the side. Fluid pipe in the back. Okay, we get hydrogen. We get oxygen. We are dumping that. Gases. Cyan down below. Whew. Okay, is there another way we can run power to this guy? I actually think we should just put it here. Well, no. Not here. We need to move this guy here. So we have this spot open. Okay, so if we gotta move... Yep, there we go. Get water in. Okay. And then gas is out the front. Don't you dare. Okay, yeah, we got oxygen. <laughs> it's about to say. Okay, so this has all been it's all good to go now. Got to here. Oh, this doesn't have power now. Oof. Got an idea. Yeah, we're just going to run it back here. Come up. There we go. All right, this has got power. All right, uranium clumps. We go into the crusher. All right. That normally seems easy. All right, crusher. There we go. Crusher? I hardly know her. I'm sorry. Okay, so we go into the crusher here. We take our items, output. Eject on. Crusher is working. Whew. All right, dirty uranium dust now goes into the enrichment chamber. All right, here we go. Items eject on. <sighs> Uranium dust gets smelted. And this is our process 
for turning one. One uh, or into five. And I think we're going to do one of these for each because I don't feel like having to worry about the different slurries and stuff like that. That could get kind of bad if something runs out. So we're going to have to set this up five different times. Um, we're also going to go ahead and just upgrade this to the second tier. Yeah, I like that. All right. Cable. Nope, not you. You. Nope, not you. Oh, I threw it away. Bam. Okay. Eject. Let's get a bin for this. Actually, we might be able to do that. Yep. <laughs> Guys, we did it. Oh my gosh. One or equals five ingots. Oh my goodness, everything. Okay, yeah. So this is our limit now. This is this guy. Uh, our limit seems to be this guy. Let's crank this up a little bit. <sighs> yeah, so guys, this setup here, one or into five. Uh, let's go ahead and set up another bin. I'm going to take a screenshot. This is going to be the thumbnail. All right, guys. So I am going to take a little break here. I'm going to try to see if we can get this looking much better because we're going to need one for each of the different crystals there. If we check in, well, if we just check the slurry, we go so well. Let's see. Copper slurry, gold, iron, lead, osmium, tin, uranium, copper. Let's just type in dirty slurry. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to need seven of these setups going because each of these is going to have their different area. Oh, man. And I want to show you guys what I have done with the area over there before I take my quick break because this is making my head hurt a little bit. This is the room now. Uh, it's got a little bit of a design going on. I'm kind of a fan of it. Uh, so I'm thinking here we're going to break. We're going to need to find a way to put seven. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if we just split one of these, well, one. So we got one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think this one back here will be our iron one. We might have some other machines in here as well. I'm probably just going to do one of these here. So we're going to try to put condense these into areas going straight up uh, into these areas. And then we'll have the backing here. And then I will go ahead and put the brine makers all across here to support these. Uh, so if we have seven, so we're going to put four on this side. And then we're going to put three on that side. And they're all going to be about that size. And yeah, so they're going to they're gonna really support our, our system here. So I'm very excited about that. But let me go ahead and see how much time we got left in the video. Take a quick break and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So it has been a little bit of time. I went ahead and added a remote um connection here i want to show you guys check this out so we have a network receiver here there's a network transmitter on the other side that has the network card associated to this so we can access all of our items from whoops from this window right here oh it's so nice and check it out we have forty-three thousand hdpe sheets like this system is it's all 100 percent automated and it's amazing but it is using a lot of power we're starting to tap into our power reserves and kind of getting worried about that we're, we're pretty much even uh, we're using as much power as we are producing but if you look there i've built something i've built something i've built something i've built something okay so this is the room and i have condensed the whole times five automation process into this here uh, items, the sulfur, sulfur dust comes here, uh, goes in into here, makes all of our stuff, our sulfur trioxide. Uh, we are going to need to go ahead and get a speed upgrade in here to go ahead and keep up with this production. Uh, 
Uh, but then the sulfur trioxide goes into here with the water vapor and creates the sulfuric acid, which goes into here and is chilling with our uranium and sulfuric acid. Uh, currently, our limit here is how fast we can produce this oxygen. I might need to add in a second one of these to go ahead and help it out. But yeah, um, it looks like this guy is actually our limit now too. Yep, hydrogen is going into here. Crazy. Chlorine. Okay, we're also running low on chlorine. Oh, there, there is another machine back there, isn't there? Okay, I forgot about this guy. We need to go ahead and upgrade him. Let's go ahead and do that. I haven't added the, the wireless crafting terminal yet. I don't want to do that just yet. Um, I don't know. I've never been a big fan of it, if I'm being honest. I don't know why. Um, yeah, we're going to need... We're gonna need you. You are just gonna get a couple of these. Okay, that should be good. I totally forgot about that back one. I don't know what this middle area is gonna be. I don't know if I want to have this up here or if I want it like like down low. But I, I want to show you guys this too. Uh, I I moved all of our brine processing down here. So this is where we're making our brine. Uh, so we're gonna be making it. it's getting pumped up into here, and then we're gonna have. Uh, one of these for each of the different processes like I showed you. We just did uranium because uranium is very important uh, for us right now as we're generating more power. Uh, so let's go ahead, get the energy upgrades in here. Uh, speed upgrades. Yeah, the issue is the oxygen here. Uh, this guy hasn't been upgraded with any speed. All right, so this should be good to go. Let's get some speed. I'm gonna show you some real speed. Yeah, this is doing good, okay. So that means, yep, we are, yes. So this is eventually gonna run out, which means we are processing enough. So the, the main issue we run into here is not being, like this isn't as fast as it can be, is because power, we are limited to power. Unfortunately, we have 350 here. Um, yeah, we're gonna get a lot. So every 250 uh, ore that we get, we get an extra, thousand out of instead of just doing it one to one yeah so this is a, a little crazy it's a little over oh not really overpowered because it took a heck of a lot of time to get here but i'm gonna make uh one of these for all the different slurries that we have so yeah uh we need one for copper we need one for gold one for iron one for lead one for osmium and then one for 10, we did the uranium. So we're gonna do these. I'm gonna do those off camera. I'm gonna do them in the same style as here. Might do them on a live stream, uh, but I'm gonna copy this exact one. Uh, this is gonna be the exact one we do. Everything's gonna be on the, the left there. It's, it's just gonna be a, like an exact mirror. Uh, so I am a big fan of this. Uh, I tried to make it look as pretty as possible. This is what I got. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section. But that is going to wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And don't let this video flop. Share it with your buddies, your modded buddies who want to see how to make times 5 or processing look beautiful. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.